and I'm a little late to the party, but here it is, Star Wars X-Wing Millennium Falcon. So um, I know that this has been out for several years now, and I am late to the party. When you see this particular ship in the clearance aisle of your local gaming store at 50% off, how could you refuse to pick this up? The box is in fantastic condition, so it wasn't like it was a beat up uh, discount version. They were just getting rid of it. So in any case, uh, the Millennium Falcon, iconic ship. <clears throat> As with all X-Wing um, miniatures, you get your ship. You get 21 cars in this specific um, set, 25 tokens, a maneuver dial, and obviously the Millennium Falcon. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. All right, so in this kit, obviously, you're going to get your figure, which is very well painted. Uh, you have your little guide here with all the components listed and um, some of the new rules that are were released with this kit. You have your baggie of cards, you have your base, and then obviously your token sheet that also has the Han Solo and Lando on one side, and then Chewbacca and Outer Rim Smuggler on the other, and you can use this with the base deck. So, all right, <clears throat> we'll take a closer look at the ship. All right, here's a close-up. Beautiful, iconic ship. Paint job isn't too bad for just a standard paint job on a particular on these particular models. Usually, you'd want to paint these yourself or improve it on it. But I don't think uh, I will be doing that. It actually looks very nice. The radar dish does articulate, so that's kind of neat. Um, obviously, the classic Millennium Falcon because the radar dish is still on here, uh, as opposed to the one in the sequel trilogy. All right. I'm not going to talk too much about the base, but here it is. And then we're going to go on to the cards. All right, here are the pilot cards. You have your Outer Rim Smuggler here. Chewbacca the Mighty. Lando Calrissian, General of the Alliance. Um, for Return of the Jedi, obviously. And then Han Solo, uh, Scoundrel for Hire. I'm not going to go through all the details on here. I'm going to have it left on the screen so you can take a look. All right, next card's up. You have the modified YT-1300 light freighter, light freighter with Lando Calrissian Outer Rim Smuggler. And then the other card has Chewbacca and Han Solo. And I believe that these are the cards that you can use to upgrade um, their versions of the uh, Millennium Falcon or the YT-1300. You also have the listening device. During the system phase, if an enemy ship with the informant upgrade is at range 0 to 2, flip your dial face up. All right, here are more of the upgrade cards. You get homing missiles, swarm tactics, engine upgrade, rigged cargo chute, and and the unique Millennium Falcon designation. Here are some crew upgrades. You get uh, C-3PO, Chewbacca, Informant, uh, Nian Num, uh, Leia Organa, and Lando Calrissian. And then the final crew upgrades, Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, and R2-D2. And there you have it. That's the Millennium Falcon for Star Wars X-Wing uh, version 2.0. I just wanted to leave it on the uh, miniature itself. It's so well detailed and a beautiful miniature. Definitely a classic uh, that you can include in um, your forces for Star Wars X-Wing 2.0. All right, if you like this video, go ahead and click like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you would. Click the bell notification icon to get notified of all new unboxings coming out of the channel. And then click the link in the description below to join our Discord server. That is the best way I could personally interact with you and chit-chat you about Star Wars X-Wing. Star Wars X-Wing and any other game that we cover on the channel. That's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more unboxing videos from Wargaming Noob.